What's right, you guys? Welcome to episode 22 of my FCU Trek Room. So a huge episode here, guys. We're going to have plenty of matches in store in this one. This is going to be a five-match match episode here. So plenty in store, guys. It's going to be huge, of course. We still have this big run towards the end of the season coming up here. Facing off in, against Peck Sword in this first episode, we definitely just have to continue to grab some points, grab some decent results to keep ourselves at the top of that table. Because I would love to, of course, be able to win the league in our second season here uh, with SCU Threat. So definitely uh, going to be a tough matchup though to start things out and we're going to have plenty of matchups again. So we'll see, really see uh, you know, where we are at the end of the ep this episode as far as the league goes. Definitely have a chance to really assert ourselves at the top of it. But you're going to see here, start things out. Zard is going to be played through here. Of course, with some space out wide here. He's going to play the ball back to Coombe, however. He's going to send this cross in. A good ball to Boymans. And nearly Ruben gets on the end of that. That's a very good cross, but Ruben, unfortunately, I could not you know, react quick enough to tap that in. But we'll see again here. Ruben with the ball now out wide. He's going to cut back in, play it back to Cesar Fuentes. Do a good job holding off his defender. Good shot taken. And look at that. I nearly get the rebound back, Boyman, but unfortunately cannot do so. Um, again, two huge chances to start off, but unfortunately cannot capitalize as Zard is here. He's going to be on the ball, playing the ball back out wide to Coom. Going to have some space here, put the ball back in to Boyman. And what a finish from him, of course. Um, we are really kind of struggling to find that goal after two big chances, but here we are able to grab the goal finally in the second half. Switching sides. You can see again some classic football here. We did this a lot in the first season with Boyman's, you know, just rising up above other defenders to head that ball in to grab a goal. Always great to see, but it looks like Pexwell may have an answer here. They have a bit of space, and look at that. They just beat us and grab that goal back pretty quickly right after we grabbed our own. So that is pretty unfortunate, pretty disappointing at the save, but uh, we're going to have to try to bounce back, stay gritty, and you know grab the one again. That little spot there is always hard for the keepers in this game. It's quite frustrating to be quite honest. But you see here, do a good job pressing to win the ball back, pushing up the pitch. Uh, ball cut back to Boymans. You can see him doing a good job uh, cutting back here, showing a bit of agility. He's going to finish that. What a finish from Rude Boymans there. Big goal from him, as you can see again, showing a bit of agility <laughs> and some good ball control as well to finish that solid finish also. So it looks like we may have grabbed, uh, grabbed ourselves a late winner um, in what was a match that we honestly deserved to win. Of course, we did have the better of the chances throughout it, but uh, definitely a nice victory for us in this first match of the episode. But again, we have plenty of matchups coming up for you guys. Uh, it's going to be a fairly long episode, I have to say, but uh, really excited to get all this content coming from. But you can look at this youth intake again. We have some players who look pretty solid, of course, on our youth academy, excuse me. Um, any other guy who I'm really looking at is Bojanic and, of course, Sitaku uh, and some of our other players here. Uh, definitely have a lot of promising guys on our side and really excited to see you know when I will be able to sign them up eventually uh, you can see the keeper I'm definitely gonna ha let him have the uh, update coming up of course the May update so uh, we'll let him go but I do think he could be actually a first teamer uh, right after this but we'll see how things go of course so plenty of time to find out that'll be something that we'll see next season guys but again uh, second match of the episode here against FC Dordrecht Definitely another big matchup. Uh, definitely just all these matches are huge right here as we're trying to secure our top spot in the league. Ball's going to be put in here, however. A good ball back in. It's going to fall back. A good shot taken. Deflected out. And Boyman's looks like we have a chance back at it, but unfortunately he's not able to. Uh, so pretty close right there, but unfortunately going to be back in the second half. Still chasing a goal. Ruben with the ball. Good job cutting back in. It's going to take a shot. It's going to be fortunately hit right at the keeper. A bit of a finesse shot there. But uh, the ball is going to cut back here to Fuentes, again pushing up. Now Ducum is going to send the ball back in. Boymans is going to get his head on that. And what a finish from him coming up big again, two games in a row. More, you know, just prototypical stuff we've seen from Boymans lately. Um, and, of course, previous season especially, Coom overlapping, sending in a quality cross. And a great finish by Boymans again. Still racking up goals this season, of course, after grabbing the Golden Boots in the last one. Um, him and Zardes really have done so good together. As you see now, uh, Zardes is actually going to be on the ball himself, going to cut back, have some space. Really, that should be a maybe a red, definitely a yellow. But if you're not even going to get a yellow card for that, that's a goal. That has to, that's really, that's going to be a goal, honestly. But uh, either way, we're going to have to try to come back. Coombe's going to get the ball, cut the back 
ball back into Boyman. It's going to flick it on uh, back to Ruben. And what a close shot from him. That's a huge hit from Ruben there. Uh, but unfortunately, it does not go in. That would have been tremendous. As again, we're trying to put pressure on the ball late in the game. But look at this. Coombe is caught way too high up the pitch. And unfortunately, we are going to go down late in this matchup, dropping points. Very disappointing there, of course. Really should have grabbed the, uh, of course, the second goal to put the game of the way, but uh, we are not able to, and that was quite disappointing, I have to say. So hopefully, you know, we can maybe grab a late goal here, or we're just going to move on. And of course, we do have to move on, try to bounce back after a very disappointing result. We should have grabbed three points there, uh, but unfortunately, you know, late in the matchup, Kuhn was just way too high uh, we could have grabbed another goal though as well to finish things off but unfortunately we we're not able to do so but now we have to bounce back against SC Gambar here definitely a big matchup so we have to keep on going uh, keep on pushing on still Vitesse on other teams are in striking distance at least but uh, we just have to keep on moving on cannot drop more points like we did like that in very disappointing fashion we see the balls we played over the top very poor defending and that's going to be a goal there again not getting things off on the right foot now but uh we just have to continue to bounce back we've persevered for throughout the season through some tough times some very tough fixtures so we're gonna have to keep on pushing on you see this was some great build-up play boy is of course flick on header back to ruben some gorgeous play look at this back between ruben and guamez Ru uh and Boyman's going to play the ball through to Ruben, who's going to have it and cut it back. Unfortunately, he's going to grab a penalty uh, for our sake. He's going to grab that penalty. Looked like he may have uh, been looking to cut the ball back. But either way, we grab the penalty here in a big spot. Need to try to tie this game up, as you can see here. A definite penalty. Ruben drew that very nicely and really was deserved after some gorgeous build-up play leading up to that. Cesardes will take this one. We're going to power it up. And it looks like he unfortunately put way too much. He's going to hit the cross bar it's not going to roll back in cannot pounce back on the rebound very disappointing guys uh we deserve that goal but unfortunately we have to keep on pushing on uh you'll see the ball's going to fall back zardis here with some space let's see what he's going to do with it cut back in take the shot and huge save there it barely deflected off the keeper really should not have been hit right at the keeper in all honesty but uh Again, a huge chance to grab another goal. We're just not taking our chance. But look at this Boyman's big man with the ball pushing off his defender. You can see him doing a good job. Now he's going to cut back, uh, play the ball back to Fuentes. He's going to cut back in. Great play from Fuentes. What a goal from him. Uh, he's not known exactly for those types of plays. But when we need him to come up big, he certainly did there for us. What a goal from Cesar Fuentes uh, to just really show some great pace, agility, and tons of will to get that into the back of the nets after a very tough sequence. But again, we still have to try to push on. Maybe we can grab the winner now, um, but uh, we're going to push back on. A gorgeous ball played over top to Zardes, and unfortunately, he just did not have his finishing boots on the day. That should have been a goal as well. And really, again, another disappointing um two points dropped here at the two points dropped previously as well against the direct definitely had the better of the chances deserved N not exactly deserved because we weren't finishing those chances but uh we certainly should have grabbed that uh those three points they were in our hands and we just let them slip due to some very poor finishing again but now we're going to be facing off against knock right here another match that uh we should be winning we really should have been winning all these matches honestly uh, we are going to be of course this top team but uh we have to push on now continue on we'll see how things go here i had to play this lineup here definitely very mixed you can see savage uh Lambouche, uh, Ayub, Yesio, Boyman, Zardes. Definitely a lot of players mixed around because of match congestion, unfortunately. But uh, Savage going to play the ball back to Ayub. Cut it back here again out wide. Some good play. You can see it's pushing on Lambuish. Going to send this ball in. Very good cross. Unfortunately, that is going to go wide. Uh, it was a big chance there, but Lambuish is going to have a chance on this corner. Uh, send it into Boyman's. It looks like he's going to rise up and look at that Boyman's. This was his episode here with his head at least. His noggin has produced three goals so far uh, in this episode. That is some great stuff from him to grab that again. 
You can see that's a gorgeous way he rose up to that, beating his defender and grabbing a big early goal. Now we have to continue to push on, but unfortunately a very bad ball loss in the middle. Uh, the touch isn't clean there from Ayub, and we have a chance to recover it after he had a good interception, but again, they're going to come back and grab a goal uh, pretty quickly, and that is quite frustrating. We just cannot get ourselves going really we're just all out of sorts it seems like this episode but uh we just have to continue to push on as you see late in the matchup Zard is going to be played through out wide has a lot of space here out on the wing see what he's going to do with cut back to his right foot and look at this shot what a goal from Giassi Zard is that is a tremendous finish from him right there uh definitely going to be on a highlight reel uh here that's just gorgeous stuff from him what a finish from the man there uh, that exactly why we brought him to our side and he scored a lot of those goals honestly for us and that's always a great thing when you have a guy scoring goals like that for us tremendous finish again look at that curl excited to have him on our side he's really been you know the reason that we're in first place in my opinion is because of the added firepower he has brought to us instead of having to solely rely on the head of rude boyman so again tremendous shot from him we may have a chance to continue to add on the league lead uh zarda's going to play the ball through here you know is going to have some space cut back play it back to Zardes again he has some room here play the ball back to Ruben it's going to fall back to Savic and what a goal from him heading that in from afar there was a goal from the uh, big center defensive mid who actually has really been pushed out of the rotation has not played all that much this season but he's come up big here with a very nice goal you can see from quite afar as well but uh that is pretty solid um good stuff from him nice to see him coming up big of course when he's needed in a match like this due to match congestion we definitely need as many players like him as possible in all honesty and you'll see Tyrone Mings unfortunately he went down with an injury on that sequence there so we're gonna have to see what's gonna happen but we do grab the win uh that's a good victory from us um but uh again pretty disappointing to see what happened there to Tyrone Mings as you can see three months he's gonna be missing, missing the rest of the season but he will be in time it looks like you know for the start of the second the next season so uh that's always great to see guys because again I will have an a final season basically um third season but uh, we'll just have to see i have some plans for it uh, and we'll talk about that more probably uh later on in this episode or in the next episode we'll have to see how things go here so we have one last uh matchup here in the episode against Alvin Hag again in great position but we just have to continue to push on because you never know what can happen in this game um you can hit a huge dead spot we don't want that to happen guys you see Zulo is going to step in there at left back definitely has some great attacking prowess I have to say so I uh I think he'll still do a good job for us, but of course, Mings is just an absolute beast. Ball's going to be played through to Zenas here. Ball's going to fall back, unfortunately, but some good play to start things out again. Um, they've been starting out some games pretty solid uh, recently, which is good to see, but uh, just sometimes the finishing boots haven't been on, but Fuentes is going to take this corner here, send this in, and again, <laughs> Ruud Boymans is at four or five. I lost count, unfortunately, but again, Boymans with his head, continuing continuing to grab those goals there uh, just great to see him have that type of success for us you see uh, balls me played back here good job from our guys holding possession Ayub back Ruben to Selnes a great ball to Zardes and he is going to have a chance at goal and he's going to score that a great job from him grabbing the goal right there and you can see that was just really gorgeous play on the build up as well and you see hitting that underneath the keeper it looks like there to grab us a very nice goal to put us up 2-0 me will we have a chance for another goal it looks like we may but uh, you can see the ball just gets stuck unfortunately between the two players and us so it looks like they may have a chance on goal you see that's a gorgeous play that's a really good uh run as well as a pass it looked like um but uh either way we have to continue to push on i would love to grab another goal because uh these types of finishes are always way too nervy so fuentes is going to take this free kick uh, i don't think we scored a free kick goal this uh, series yet so it, will this be our first here um so this fuentes really lined things up in a gorgeous hit there keeper maybe could have done better you can say that about every goal honestly that's all a free kick and sometimes even just you know run up play goals as well but uh, either way that's a very nice hit from Fuentes to grab a goal from that distance very nice hit from him 
uh, as you know, he really has been kind of been in the spotlight lately. Of course, grabbed the game winner early on in this episode, had some goals in the pr previous ones, and of course, he scores a very nice free kick here uh, to add to his goal tally for this season, which is always great to see him get some shine because he certainly deserves it. I have to say, and you can see again a big chance on goal, and they too cut the lead down again. Very nervy end, guys. Uh, as you can see. Defending is just absolutely terrible there. That is some terrible, terrible Bush League defending. And I'm glad to see from what I've heard it's being fixed in FIFA from some guys like Matt Ten, some guys that are into realistic gameplay. Um, a lot of that stuff's going to be fixed. Thank you, God. But uh, that's a huge way to finish this episode. A very exciting matchup. Of course, they didn't really go away, but uh, you'll see we're going to have three matches left in the season. Uh, we just really have to hold on. It's all in our hands, uh, basically. We cannot drop points and let, you know, the other teams catch up. If we basically get a certain amount of threshold of points, we can move on, guys. Now, as you can see, we'll be facing... T so two tough opponents. All three of them really are Twente, Heracles, and Vitesse. But again, guys, it's going to be a fun season finale coming up. Thanks for tuning in. I'll be signing out now, and I'll catch you guys later.